Okay, our second tutorial is on quick masks, something that's useful. Let's navigate to pictures again. Once again, in stock photos, look around for a picture that you like a face of someone. Usually works. Take it, drag it to the icon, and here we have it. What we're going to do, we're going to put this kind of in oval, like the old cameos. First thing we want to do is, is get it ready to prepare it. So let's go to um, image. We're adjusting the image. You get kind of a feel for these. Uh, image does things to the image layer obviously when you have layers that you're doing things to select deselect filters view so let's go here to image and we want to take out all the color we want to desaturate it remember saturation is the amount of color so we want to desaturate take out all of the color turn it black and white next thing we want to do to kind of age it is within images again adjustments and there's this neat thing called variations and you can give pictures like sepia tones and make them look old and discolored so let's add a little yellow oops a little too much uh, try magenta and there we go you can always go backwards if it's a little bit too much for you you can just desaturate a little bit oops I said a little bit not completely desaturate a little bit until you get it to where you like it there we go. Now I want to make an oval. So I'll take my selection tool up here in the toolbar and go for the elliptical marquee tool. I'll put it more or less in the middle. I like to hold down the option key. That way, when I pull out, I'll be pulling out from the middle. Oops. Now that was up. Okay, here we go. It just gives me a little more control. Let's put her little face there. And now that we have that, we do select inverse. We want to select everything else because what we want to do is put the quick mask in the area that is not selected. By doing hitting the Q on the keyboard, we get this red area. In the old days of photography, that was a way that they could uh, work on photos by retouching it showing what they were working on, what they weren't working on. And we want to blur that. So my favorite blur, the Gaussian blur. Blur it enough. Give us kind of an oval going on there. Okay. Now we'll hit the Q again. And if we hit delete, it's going to delete everything outside of that blurred oval. Be sure, first of all, to double click on background because we don't want this lock 
here. We want to get rid of that and we want to just turn it into a layer so that we'll have transparency in the background. Now hit the delete key and boom there you go. You can select, deselect, you can flatten image and obviously we're going to want to crop this and that's all we're doing in this Photoshop tutorial 2 let's make it the right size to put it in our web page remember 72 pixels for internet uh, the widest proportion here we're going to keep it at 4 and once again, make sure that you constrain proportions. We don't want her to be stretched out on one side and right out of proportion. Save it for web. And since it's a photo, JPEG medium. Okay. And probably we want to save that as Photoshop 2. It'd be better than this weird name. And that's it. Real easy. Uh, number 2 is the easiest, I think, of all of the Photoshop tutorials.